guys, it's Manager Kylie, and in today's video, we're gonna go through how 4 2 rotation in volleyball works. So today I'm going to go through the basics of a 4-2 rotation for volleyball. A 4-2 means you have four hitters and two setters. This means your setters are setting out of the front row. So you have two different setters and each time they're in the front row they are setting. This really only leaves you with two attackers for every play. This is definitely a very simple rotation. This makes it easy, especially for beginner teams that are just looking for something a little bit easier to understand and to keep it more where the player is. You don't have as many players running around the court and you don't have to cover in the same way you would in say a 6-2 or 5-1. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration videos just like this, definitely hit the subscribe button, turn the bell to get notified every time I upload or post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So now we're gonna dive in and show you the different rotations. So for the 4-2, the rotations are pretty simple. This is definitely one of the simplest rotations and it does repeat. So the first three positions are gonna be the same and then the second three positions are gonna be the same. So I have three different things right here. I have the actual position, so this is where you are and your six person rotation. Then I have your serve receive position. This is kind of how you position yourself for serve receive. And then I have your base position and this is just where you stand during a play in your base. Starting off in our first actual position, I have the setter starting in two and I also have the other setter starting in five. I have this one currently as middle follow setter. Some people do outside follow setter. It's kind of how your team does. This one is setter follow outside, middle follow setter, so forth and so on. So for this first one, your serve receive position, the setter is just kind of going to go up a little bit. You are kind of already in your base for that first one with your middle already in the middle and your outside already in the outside. Your back row though, they are just going to be three across ready to receive the ball. Once the play happens and the ball goes to the other side, your back row will move around a little bit, put your setter on the right. You're outside on the left with your middle in the middle. So for your second position, you have your setters now in one and in four. Your setter that is in four is actually going to be the one that is doing the setting as this is based on a front row setter. The big thing of this one is for your serve receive, you want to make it easy for your setter. So having your outside and your setter kind of pull over here, that means your outside hitter is going to be in position and your middle hitter is pulled over to the right side. That means they're going to be in position for a right side attack. The key for this is because your setter has to run over and get a lot of distance, it is easy to have that right side hitter. So if the setter has to, they can just face straight to the right side as they come over to get that pass and get it up to that middle to hit from the weak side. It just makes it easier for the setter. They have two options on each side of the court to be able to hit from those. Your base positions, again, once the ball goes over the net, your middle will move back into the middle. Your setter will be back onto their right side. And then your back row will adjust to their base with the outside on the left, setter on the right, and your middle in the middle. So for this third rotation, your setters are now in the middle. They are in three and they are in six. The easiest thing to do for this one is very similar to the previous one, to give yourself an outside and a weak side hitter. You're going to put the setter right in the middle. Your middle is going to hit outside for one and your outside is going to hit weak side for one. And then once the play happens, they can adjust to where they need to be. This just allows you that two opportunities. It's easiest to have your players on the opposite sides, your, both your weak side and your outside. So you have a lot of opportunities on where to put the ball. And then your back row will obviously adjust once the play happens. A big thing on this one is really the switch between the middle and the setter. And then this repeats. So now setter two is in two. Again, they're going to be positioned in their position. You already have middle in the right spot and outside in the right spot. This is definitely the easiest. That first and fourth rotation are definitely the easiest. And then, obviously, your back row will adjust. Same thing for number five. Number five, again, you're going to pull the setter in the outside to the outside. Your middle is on your weak side to give your setter that options both on the weak side and on the outside as two different hitting options because your setter is going to try to get to here, but they do have that option if it's a quick pass up here. They are able to get it out to that weak side as they are going to be running and facing that direction or they're able to turn their body and get it to that outside and then again your back row will adjust to where they need to be and that sixth position does repeat that third one you do have your two setters in the middle setter in the middle with your weak side and your outside attack and then obviously your middle will transition back to the middle and your outside will transition over once the ball goes over and then again the big switch between your middle and your setter in the back row to make it easy for them to get to the positions they need to be. So I hope you guys found that helpful. If there's any questions you have about where your player needs to be, where you need to be positioned on the court, definitely let me know. This is just typically how you would run a 4-2. There's other ways you can position yourself. You also have your serve positioning, all that. Your goal is to just make it as easy as you can to be able to get a playoff. You want to make it convenient for your setter and allow for 
them to have multiple options of hitters. I will have linked up at the end a playlist with more volleyball videos that explain scoring and some of the other rotations like a 6-2 and a 5-1 if you're interested in learning those as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and I will see you guys next Wednesday. <laughs>